when setting up SmartSend, you'll have the option to go through our onboarding process. This will help you set up any defaults you may want. For example, setting a default service for all your domestic items. If you didn't take the opportunity to do this, you can still take advantage by going to your settings. It's always good to review these settings to make sure everything is as you want it to be. To review your settings, click on My Account in the navigation bar and choose My Settings. On the left hand side, click on Smart Send. To review the Smart Send settings, click on View slash Change Settings. The settings you see here are what I set during my onboarding process when I first started using Smart Send. As you can see, I have ticked the automatic marketplace tracking update, so this will let my customers know when their item is with the courier. There's a section to automatically add protection and signature alt to all of your imported items. The missing information section is for the SmartSend tool to automatically add in any missing information you may have. In some cases, you're not going to know your customer's email or telephone number, so you can set a default here. This information is needed because in some instances, couriers need this to process the order. For example, DPD send text messages to their customers when they're about to deliver a parcel, so a mobile number is required. The next section is for you to set a preferred courier and preferred service. Firstly, choose the courier and the preferred delivery method. For example, you may want all of your international parcels to use the TNT service and for them to come and collect your items. Once you've made this choice, you can then choose which TNT service you want. You can leave this blank if you are not sure. SmartSend will automatically find the cheapest service for you. Click Save and then Close. Alternatively, if you wish to use the wizard, click Start Wizard.